So we're shooting the uh, 74, the uh, Sega 545, and uh, notice that it's shooting a little bit to the left. So we were shooting at some steels here, way down range, and missing those. So I put out this little piece of paper target here, and you see that little flap of tape with the uh, shadow. I was aiming at the shadow, and I think that's three or four rounds, maybe even four rounds right there. So it seems like they're shooting off a little bit to the left, and I verified that by just using you know old Kentucky windage, and instead of aiming dead center on that steel, I aimed a little bit to the right, and I was making hits. So what that tells me is I need to change this front sight. First, we want to make sure it's empty, of course, and then uh, on the AK, we've got this uh, center sight post, and then there's this pin that goes across the front sight post and that's actually what the front or it goes across the front sight uh, block and then what the uh, front sight post rides in so what we're gonna do is use the tool it's a couple of different tools here this is an old one I got from a guy that um, I'm pretty sure he made these in America for a limited run and they weren't real popular or something so they didn't make a lot of them this is the more typical one uh, this is the Tapco type but I think this one is, yeah, it's actually a Tapco one. So what you've got is your height adjustment on this thing, this part of the tool, and then you've got your windage with this part of the tool. We've got this post here, and the sight tool is gonna kinda come up and line up with this uh, post, and then the hole on this side of the tool is gonna line up with the post on this side, and then as we screw the tool in, you can see that it's going to push that pin across. Or if you wanted to travel it this way, you would push it this way. So we want to move the shots to the right, so that means I want to move the sight post over to the left. And if you look, it's not quite dead center, so I'm going to move it back over to the left a little bit. So we made some adjustments there on that front sight and we're going to take a look, shot a couple of rounds at that tape again. And it looks like our holes are going right in the same place. Maybe walked them over a little bit, but not much, so I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. So we've adjusted the front sight and we're going to go back out to that piece of tape there and we'll see uh, if that makes any difference. First time I did it, it didn't seem to move very much, so I moved it about twice as much as I did that first time. So hopefully these will end up being right in the shadow if everything works right. And it looks like one of them hit over there. I felt a couple of them feel like they were a little bit to the left, so I didn't watch every one of these shots on the camera, but I'll take those. Now I'm going to see if we can't uh, move out a little bit. So now we're going to move it out to this steel that's probably about 50 or 60 yards. I'm not sure. I don't have a rangefinder out there today. Let's see how it does on that steel. That's three hits on it, so I'll take that. Now we're going to go a little bit further out to this one. Oops, not this one. To this one, which might be at about 75 yards. I really don't know. It's obviously a little bit smaller. Last one hit it, but I don't know about the other. Where I hit it before? Looks like you hit it before. Okay. I wish I had my target cam out there. Right now I'm charging the batteries, but we'll be putting the target cam out and get better uh, feedback from these targets out there. And now we'll go to this far target, which is 
I forget, maybe a little around 100 and something yards out there. Not 200, not quite 200. And this one will be a little harder to hear, so maybe the video will uh, give us a better indication of whether we're hitting this thing or not. Well, that sounded like a hit. So maybe we got one hit there so far. All right, I got a couple of hits out there. I'm blaming it on the wind, though. It's very windy today. So, um, give you an idea of the sight picture out there. When we're shooting an AK. Keep in mind, I've broken at least one camera doing this point of view on an AK before, but what the heck, let's try it again. So, let's see if we can do this. I don't think I'm going to be able to. The stock is in the way. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.